Cole, congratulations on your career high 21 kills. Uh, first off, uh, what was your what's your reaction to uh, getting that career high? Um, happy. Obviously, it's always nice to get a career high. Um, I'm just happy we won. It was tough there for a couple sets, and we were able to come together at the end. And even though it was 34, 32, we pulled it out. So that was really nice to win in four. Uh, talk about your your teammates. You know, um, obviously. Having a career high is not just a singular performance. You have to have good passers mm -hmm. and the setting. Talk about uh, your the whole team's performance tonight. Um, I thought it was amazing. Like we fought the whole time. Like even when things were going badly for us, we stuck in it and we were able to battle back. Um, I was connecting really well with um, Coburn at the end, which was really nice. And we were getting the ball up and hustling on defense, so it was really good. The whole team was sort of giving everything they got. How hard is it to adjust when you have to make substitution? So in the fourth set, you um, the uh, um, you guys subbed out uh, your Oliveira, and then uh, throughout this uh, match, you had to, uh, you had um, um, Parrish sub out for Parks at times. Does that um, present a challenge in terms of chemistry at all? Um, I don't think it presents too much of a challenge. I mean, we all practice together six days a week. We're all in the gym together training. So when another guy comes in, it's just sort of like we're on the same page, we're ready to go, um, and it's great. I think it works seamlessly, and you know, subs are just part of the game. So it was, I think we work well with it for sure. Not not as much as the women's game, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, no, they have, <laughs> they have a lot of subs. Uh, let's talk about this rivalry. You come from uh, Canada, so mm -hmm. you probably are not used to it to the extent that those mm -hmm. that grow up here. Um, have you fully embraced the rivalry, or are they just another NPSF team? The rivalry, it's interesting because I didn't at first, I didn't, it didn't make sense to me because I just thought SC was like another school. Um, but after we play, you can sort of see it, guys get like excited for SC. Plus, I mean, every sport, we end up playing SC and everyone sort of rallies around those games. Um, so I definitely am more, more into it now and understand it and always get excited when we get a chance to sort of play those rivalry games. You guys have played the last three matches against uh, SC. Yeah. I mean, you, you had a few other matches uh, to start the season, but are you, are you guys tired of seeing SC across the net? Um, I mean, it would be nice to see a different team. It's always nice to sort of play a variety of teams, but I mean, a game's a game, so if we win a game, then it's a win, and if we don't, we don't. So um, it was just nice to get uh, two out of the three for this one, and then now we can move forward and focus on like watching film for another team and zoning in on that team. And of course, you know, some of these teams have to be on pause. You know, any match that you get to play is got to yes. cherish, right? Yeah, no, every match is a blessing, especially with COVID. It seems like it's been so long, so we're just happy to be able to play and have the opportunity. I know that the rivalry, like you said, it, it's a special rivalry, not mm -hmm. just in men's volleyball, but, you know, in, in, uh, across all sports. But I, the, the fact that it's a, you have three matches that had eight sets that were two sets, six of them that were uh, OT, and of course you guys uh, came out two out of three victories. What was it that you guys did at the end of a lot, a lot of these sets that really pulled it off for you guys? Um, I think we're really good at like buckling down as a team. Like I think when it's crunch time, like our whole team knows, we're like we have to give it 110%. Um, so I think we do really well under pressure. So I think that's why we're able to sort of pull out those really close sets and um, sort of buckle down when we need to. I realize that this offseason hasn't been a atypical offseason. The typical offseason you probably would have been scrimmaged against a lot of these teams. Mm -hmm. So I'll also ask you about your next opponent, it's Concordia. What do you know about them and uh, what uh, challenges do they present? Um, played them once last year. Obviously they're a solid team. They're a really scrappy team, like defensive. Uh, mindset and they got some guys that can really hit the ball so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to game plan it's gonna be fun to get back training and focusing on this next match and I'm just excited to play. Well thank you for taking time with us out off the block. Congratulations on your career high and you. the victory. Thank you. Good luck.